whatsoever. Be he worthy, you shall have the power. Whatever, man. It, it's a trick. Oh, it is much more than that, my friend. <laughs> if I lift it, do I get to rule Asgard? Yes, of course. I will be fair, but firmly cruel. <clears throat> be right back. Are you even pulling? Are you on my team? Just represent, pull. All right, let's go. Come on, Cap. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, no, no, that's not a question I need answered. The handle's imprinted. Whosoever is carrying Thor's fingerprints is, I think, the literal translation. Yes, well, that's a very interesting theory. I have a simpler one. You're all not worthy. Oh. <laughs> How could you be worthy? You're all puppets tangled in strings. Strings. Hi, guys, and welcome to Gadget Reviews and to this review of the breaking news that Marvel announced their Phase 3. And that means that we know of all of the movies that will come out till 2019. Boy, that are a lot of years to come but the good news is that at least in 2020 I mean till 2020 we will have uh, a lot of movies from DC and Marvel to be happy about I mean that's the superhero paradise never before there were such a competitive uh, just huge competitiveness from uh, those two companies and because of this competitiveness uh, and the uh, people's interest uh, we will get a lot of movies as some of those movies are our dream movies actually so let's begin first of all with the first movie from the phase 3 uh, captain america civil war well we all know that this was coming uh, because we know that captain america will be against uh, Tony Stark, uh, Tony Stark Iron Man, so we knew that this will going to happen and it's very interesting premise as a whole so I'm just definitely looking forward to this movie and I'm sure that what will happen in, in um, Avengers Age of Ultron will somehow be connected of course and will follow this new movie uh, Civil War so whatever happens in the Avengers, I'm sure that something very interesting will happen uh, following the events of the Avengers in Captain America Civil War. And also, if you notice in the new Avengers trailer, uh, the shield of Captain America was broken, so that is interesting also where and how he will get a new shield. And the person that was laying next to the shield was Thor. So. I'm hoping that Thor is okay, but we will get a sequel to Thor also that we're going to talk about in just a second. So, of course, uh, he will be uh, alive and well, I suppose. And I'm not including the female Thor here in the conversation because I'm sure that they will not bring a female Thor into the movies. At least not for this uh, phase 3. Okay, so the next movie is uh, November 4, 2016, Doctor Strange. I really, really... Not sure if I care of Doctor Strange. I'm I'm only seeing him in some animations, uh, exactly in the Spider-Man old series from my childhood. So I don't really know much about him. Uh, but it's rumored that Benedict Cumberbatch will play him, but this is not uh, yet confirmed by Marvel. So we'll see. But he is a perfect choice. Uh, he is an amazing actor and he will only get better, so he is just perfect, absolutely perfect. Whatever role he's playing, he's the man for the job, so I don't have any doubts about this movie. I'm just not sure how appealing exactly Doctor Strange as a character, but we'll wait and see. The next movie is Guardians of the Galaxy 2, May 5th, 2017. Boy, this movie... Hey, we have to wait so much for this movie and I really wanted it sooner. 
I mean, now it's 2014 and we have to wait to 2017. Three years. That's a lot of time, people. I really wish that somehow they could make those movies faster. Maybe if they expand their studios. I don't know, but this is very, 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 very far in time for me. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, of course, nothing very much to discuss there. I mean, they're perfect, awesome group of superheroes. So, of course, that uh, I suppose that this movie will be super cool and good. And the next movie is July 28, 2017. It's on July, I mean, 28. And it's Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> that sounds very, very interesting. I know that there's a comic book that goes by this name. So maybe I'm going to do a little bit of research of what that means. But whatever it is, I'm sure that they will make their own twist and story for the movie. Because, you know, something that works in comics may not work in the movie. Uh, in a movie, so... We'll see how that goes, but uh, I'm always excited to see Thor in his own movie and then and maybe it will be a lot better than the second one. Not that the second one was bad, but um, I really enjoyed the first one more. And the next movie is Black Panther that will come out in November 3rd, 2017. Black Panther, once again, is one of those characters that I've only seen in animations. Not really someone that I'm very very excited about but of course any superhero uh, will be interesting and uh, interesting to see on the big screen so I'm all all for it nothing really I can say about this and the actor that uh, they chose to play him looks good so I think that will be a great addition to the Marvel movies and following in 2018 are the Avengers Infinity War Part 1. So we have to wait really a long time for the next next Avengers movie because 2015 for the Avengers Age of Ultron and now 2018. Boy, I so don't want to wait that long, but what to do? And of course, uh, par uh, that is Part 1 and in May 2019 we're going to see Part 2. If we are alive and well, that is, of course. And what can I tell you guys? That is too much time for an awesome movie like The Avengers. But till then, we will have uh, a Justice League movie by the DC Universe. And it will be very, very, very interesting to compare the two. We will have a lot of discussions about this. It will be very interesting because The Avengers are the Justice League. Just uh, the Justice League of the Marvel Universe. So just amazing stuff. Yeah, he's really the paradise of superheroes. So what can I say? I'm hoping for those next Avengers movies that we are going to see uh, our heroes Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow, if she, if she is there, of course, Hulk. Because I heard that they are going to, to uh, play some other actors there. I mean, uh, other superheroes, and I'm and I'm and I'm not really up for the idea. I want my original heroes, not, I don't want uh, a second, um, not A-list, but B or C-list heroes in the Avengers. I mean, uh, I would like to, to see more Avengers, but I want the main roster, definitely. And May 4th, 2018, oh no, sorry, I read again the Avengers, uh, July 6th, 2018, Captain Marvel. Well, I don't know much about Cap Captain Marvel, but in some way I always mistaken him for uh, for Shazam, and Shazam is from the DC Universe, but I always mistaken him for, for Shazam for some reason. And here are the rumors that a woman will be playing the role, because Captain Marvel uh, has also a woman version in the comics. And I'm all up for this, I mean... Marvel deserves a female superhero because it's all men, it's all men, uh, and just it will be nice change if there's a woman uh, superhero. And I'm not exactly counting Black Widow because she's not, mm, not she's not exactly main and she doesn't have any superpower. So we need 
uh, a girl that could uh, be up there with the bigger guys uh, but yeah i heard you what you're thinking well black widow is there with the bigger guys yeah of course she is but i mean that we need a woman with superpowers and with her own movie so yeah uh, since uh, captain maro is already a woman that wouldn't be that big of a shocker it's not like Thor is turning woman in the movies for now, so Captain Marvel will be the best opportunity for Marvel to bring uh, a woman into the mix. So that is awesome. And last, but maybe not least, we have on November uh, 2nd, 2018, the Inhumans. Heh! Inhumans are kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy in a way. They have different abilities as far as I know uh, and I don't know actually much about them, they also have an animation uh, and I think that they will be very interesting, they open a whole nother universe, a whole nother part of the Marvel Universe, so absolutely they are welcome to join the bunch for me, absolutely. So guys, what to tell you, I'm very pleased with this uh, super awesome movie list uh, marvel are doing what they're supposed to do they're bringing one of their um, i mean their best heroes uh to the front and just bringing us movies uh, and uh, well don't forget that on july 17 2015 we have ant-man so next year we have avengers age of ultron and ant-man which i feel is so not enough i think we we have to have at least two or three movies a year which will happen after 2015 the more marvel movies the better it just it's going to be a movie paradise definitely so guys thank you very much for watching uh, of course let me know what you think in the comments if you like this video please share it rate it comment it and subscribe until next time with Gary G reviews the best games for the best prizes only on g2a.com if you like to subscribe you can click the button to the right and you can also check out my gaming channel Gary G gaming